This is why it's important you manage your prayer about God destroying enemies. Because maybe you will be learning in the course of this conference who an enemy of God is. An enemy of God is not someone you hate. No. An enemy of God is anyone who becomes a consistent interruption to the manifestation of his will. Even if it is Jonah. The jealousy of God fights anything that takes his place and interrupts his purposes, even if it is something he gave. That is why in the realm of the spirit, promises don't amount to much. Not that they are, they are inconsequential, they are needed, but your track record, your testimonial in the spirit. My dear sister, please hear me. Whilst you are trusting God to give you a job in Lagos, whilst you are trusting God to manifest certain things, I want you to not disrespect the health in your prayer that has come as a result of that. The health in your word study life. Somebody told you, oh come, I will sleep with you and give you a job and you refuse. And now you are feeling stupid for refusing because there are many people who are just conscious of things and they are saying, what is there? And they are saying, but God, after refusing, when, when Joseph refused, uh, what's the name of that woman? Potiphar's wife. You would expect God to just intervene and reward him immediately. Do you know how many years he spent in the prison? For refusing. That was his track record. You see the pattern now. There are many times believers think just because of standing for righteousness, certain promises manifest immediately. They will come, but you will celebrate their coming when you change. That is when you see the beauty of the manifestation. Can I tell you, there are many people's Christian lives today who have become defeated because promises were manifested to the wrong versions of them. The version that received the one billion was not a consecrated version the version there are certain temptations you have no business going through if god grants you grace to change so there are times you are saying god just give me this one billion and god says it is in your destiny to have it but you don't know the temptations that come into the realm of a one billion owner you don't have the stamina to survive the attacks Lord promote me to this office and he says it's in your journey. So you may go to the place of prayer and promotion is at your mind. It is not wrong but you will find out that God's interest is not the promotion. And the, the more you yield to that becoming the faster the promises come. Listen, for many years I studied why a lot of people have balloon results. Today you are up, tomorrow you disappear. The reason is because most people do not understand the power of this heritage of a spiritual testimonial. 